I love the idea of helping people through medicine, but in chiropractic, it's the acknowledgement. If you're made in the image and likeness of something that works, it's the ordinances of love, right? I mean, we're made out of the substance of the earth, right? Do you remember that whole sequence of time where people were saying, I'm really from Venus? <laughs> I used to know a lot of people who said, I had my chart read or my Akashic records read, and I'm actually a Venetian. And I thought, well, how in God's name does your body thrive with these earthly elements? Because the things we eat are all of the earth. Do you go to a special Venetian store? <laughs> <laughs> Vegetables that are only grown on Venus. <laughs> or whatever. That's a good a vitamin line. You can market that. Supplements for Venetians. <laughs> but the idea that there is an ordering power for the natural world. And we are we're a natural part of the organic world. There's a natural order to the way this world works, the way we work that is actually quite um, a blessing. This whole planet is designed to thrive as a world. And as a part of that world, we're all designed to thrive together. The idea that if you think made in the image and likeness of God, made in the image and likeness of love, you naturally are sovereign. The sovereignty of you is love. And we can pay attention to that and not let another tyrant come in and take over. I had a um, conversation with someone yesterday who said they just have such a difficult time with carbohydrates. And I thought, it's a tyrant. Because your body, you, your mind and your heart might really love carbohydrates. I really love carbohydrates. <laughs> I like them in the form of pasta. I like them in the form of sweets. <laughs> but the fact is, the ordering power of my body doesn't thrive on that because it's a tyrant. I mean, do you crave those things because... Your body has now gotten used to them. Or is it a spiritual thing where you, you think spiritually carbohydrates are going to take you to a higher level? No, it's not. But like sometimes you have symptoms that may be starting from a physical thing, but sometimes the physical thing is a vibrational spiritual thing. And if you've allowed the tyrant of carbohydrates, which at times, you know, I have, it's like I, I feel really sad and I need chocolate. <laughs> or I need um, a gin and tonic or whatever it is that will take me to what I think is part of the ordering power of love. And guess what? It doesn't ever work. It's so momentary and the consequences are, are true. Doesn't mean you shouldn't be doing them. And I'm not poo-pooing those things, but look at, looking at, do you love life? Is that your first love? You have to be in love with living to deal with some of the things that we deal with. And sometimes the tyrants that are very personal relationships, you ever been in a relationship with, it's actually one or both of them are tyrants, but you're keeping it going because you don't think there's anything better. But if you love your life more, you will see, this is not healthy. This is a tyrant and not the person, the situation. We're not about blaming people and calling people tyrants. We're about finding the ordering power of love, which is our actual design. We are designed to be made in the image and likeness of how God made the whole world to work. And we're part of that. I encourage you to know that this power is right in your hands. This is not a lecture about being bad. This is a lecture about the power of being yourself and being truly available to letting your consciousness, your mind and heart serve you instead of you serving them. Mm -hmm. Because they can become tyrants when they're out of focus from the love that is your design.